One, two, three. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic! I am your host, Evan Ayer. I'm here in downtown Cincinnati, Ohio, and today I'm showing you 10 easy mind reading tricks. So when you say Sack is somatic, you mean like he could start a fire with his thoughts? So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, this one is the classic elephant mind reading trick. Check it out. Okay, so I just want you to think of any number between one and 10. Don't say it out loud, just think of a number. And that is your secret number. I then want you to multiply that number in your head by two. So multiply that secret number by two. Okay. So you should have a figure now at, that you've multiplied it, yes? Mm -hmm. Then I want you to add eight to that number, okay. the number that you now have. Done. So you now have a new number in your head? Yes. Okay. Now I want you to divide that number by two. Done. Okay, you should have a new figure. All right, and now I want you to subtract your original number, the first one you thought of, from that number. Done. So you now have a secret number that I have no idea what it is, and you probably had no idea you would land on this number either, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so keep that secret number locked in your mind, the one that you have right now. I then want you to convert that number to a letter of the alphabet. So if it were A, it would be 1, B, 2, so on and so forth. So convert that number that you now have to a letter. Got it? Got it. Okay. Now, I want you to think of any country in the world that starts with that letter okay. and lock it in your mind. Got it? Got it. Okay. Now that you have the country locked in your mind, I want you to skip forward one letter in the alphabet. So if you were on A, you would go to B. Now that you have the next letter in the alphabet in your mind, I want you to think of an animal that starts with that letter. Now that you have the animal locked in your mind, think of the color of that animal. Okay. Okay. Now. You have a color, you have an animal, and you have a country, correct? Yes. Are you thinking of a gray elephant in Denmark? <laughs> I am. Nice. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. <laughs> the secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. Okay, here's the explanation for the elephant mind reading trick. They can genuinely think of any number between 1 and 10 that they want. It does not matter which number they pick. All of this math that you're having them do in the beginning actually gets them back to the exact same number every time, no matter which number they think of in the beginning. So have them think of any number between 1 and 10. They then multiply that number by 2, add 8 to it, then divide it by 2. Then once they have that number, they subtract their original number from it, and they will end up with four every single time. You then have them convert that number, that four, to a letter, so we know it's gonna be the letter D. And generally, we know the first country that people think of that starts with the letter D is Denmark. And then we have them move to the next letter of the alphabet, which is the E. Have them think of an animal. Most people think of an elephant. And then you have them think of the color. And most people think of elephants as being gray. And that is how you do the elephant mind reading trick. All right, for this trick, you're gonna make the card that someone thinks of magically appear on your arm. Check it out. So I'm gonna write down my prediction right now, okay? Now I want you to see a card in the deck as I ripple through them like that, okay? All right, so do you have a card in your mind? Yeah. You saw a card? All right, keep that one card locked in your mind. This, the card that you saw. The two of hearts. No, that's not it. Since I got it wrong, we're gonna burn this prediction. All right, Em, I'm gonna take these ashes. All right, you got that card in your mind, right? One, two, three. Is that your card? Eight of clubs? Yeah, and boom, just like that, their card is magically revealed on your arm. The secret to this trick is extremely simple. All you need is some lip balm. You can carry this with you and it's a really easy, quick trick to set up. Here's how you set it up. Before the trick starts, you're going to draw the name of the card that you want them to pick on your arm with the chapstick. So in this case, we're gonna do the eight of clubs. I like to do a black card because the ashes are gonna show up in black. And boom, you've got it drawn on and now it's pretty much invisible. Okay, here's your preparation for the deck of cards. You need to take one card in the deck and trim just a tiny bit off the top. About that much should suffice and you just want to trim that right off now you're gonna go in and find the eight of clubs in the deck and you're gonna put your cut card right in front of it so that when you ripple through the cards now you see the eight of clubs for just a little bit longer than the others you saw the eight for just a couple milliseconds more than the rest of the cards and it kind of just 
implants it in your mind. Before the trick starts, you're gonna tell them that you're writing down a prediction of what card you think they're going to pick. Write down the wrong card. It doesn't matter what card it is. Reason being is you're going to burn this piece of paper and that's going to provide you the ashes to rub on your arm and reveal the name of the card that they did think of. So it's like a fail and then you make like an epic comeback from the fail. Your next step is to unfold your wrong prediction. Oops, I got it wrong. So I'm gonna burn this. Make sure you let the flame go out before you rub the ashes on your arm. So what happens is the ashes actually stick to the chapstick, revealing the card like this. And that is how you do the magic ashes on the arm trick. Oh, hang on to this, don't open it. Hang on to don't it. Don't open it, oh. All right, what day is Christmas? Uh, like the date? Yeah. December 25th. What number comes between one and three? Two. What are hamburgers made of? Uh, cow. Beef. Uh, what side of the road do they drive on anymore? The left. Uh, think of a color and a tool. Say it out loud. A color and a tool? Yes. Um, red hammer. Open that. Paper. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. I'm a guinea pig. Red hammer. What? I didn't even like think I was gonna say that. Okay, your first step for the red hammer mind reading trick is to write down the prediction on a piece of paper, fold it up, and hand it to them. So what is the first question that you ask them, Eric? First question is ask them what day is Christmas? Question after that is what number comes between one and three? Next question is uh, what are hamburgers made of? The question after that is what side of the road do they drive on in Europe? Your last question is to tell them to think of a color and a tool. And you wanna tell them to think of it quickly and give the first answer that pops into their mind and say it out loud. There's something about that series of questions that like fires the proper synapses in the brain that like makes people say red and hammer. And that is how you do the red hammer trick. This is probably my favorite impromptu mind reading trick of all time. You can walk up to anyone and do it and if you get it right, it will absolutely blow their mind. This is the number mind reading trick. Like I said, I just want you to think of any odd number between one and 50, but like make both of the digits of the number odd, but not the same digit. So odd number, both digits odd, but not the same digit, different digits. You have a number in your mind? Don't say it out loud. Between one and 50, you have a number? I do. All right, lock that number in your mind. Visualize the number. 37? Yes. Is that it? That is it. Okay, the explanation to this is really easy and it's pretty much laid out in the performance of it. All you do is have someone think of an odd number between one and 50 and make both the digits odd, but not the same digit. Now see what you're doing there is you're actually eliminating a lot of the possibilities that they could think of. Because you're saying an odd number between one and 50, you're automatically eliminating half of them because they're even numbers. And then when you say make both digits different digits, you're subconsciously telling them to make it a two digit number. So you've knocked out everything one through 10. So then really all that's left for them to pick from are the teens, 13, 15, 17, 19, which most people don't think of. And then the 30s, 31, 31. 35, 37, 39. Generally, everyone thinks of 37. You can also do this with the even numbers between 50 and 100. You can say, think of an even number between 50 and 100, make both the digits even, but different digits. And generally, most people think of the number 68. And that is how you do the number mind reading trick. Okay, for this mind reading trick, you're gonna make it seem like you read your friend's mind by just touching their head. Check it out. All right, so write any number there. I'm going to attempt to read your mind. Four? Yep. Exactly right. Want to learn the secret to that one? I'll teach you right now. The secret to this is mind-blowingly simple. All you need is a confederate, somebody in cahoots with you, a friend, a PIC, a partner in crime, someone who's going to work with you and relay this information to you in a really creative way. The way they're going to do that is through non-verbal communication. In this case, when you place your fingers on their temples to read their mind, what you're actually doing is feeling the number of times that they clench their teeth. So try this yourself. Put your fingers on your temples, close your mouth, and then clench your teeth down. Feel that kind of movement in your temple, like a little pulse? That is how your friend is going to signal the number to you. So if the number that was picked was three, they're gonna clench their teeth three times. And you're gonna feel one, two, three, so you automatically know 
That's the number. And nobody sees it, it's done right in front of their faces. And that is how you make it seem like you read your friend's mind by just touching their head. All right, for this one, you're gonna make a prediction of two simple shapes that your mark is gonna draw. Here's a performance of what it looks like. I want you to take this pad of paper and this pen, and I want you to draw any two simple shapes, one inside the other. My prediction was pretty close. Pretty good, right? Good guess, but wrong. So try it at home on some people you know and see how close you get. Most of the time when you ask people to think of one shape inside of another shape and draw them, the first ones they will think of are a triangle and a circle. And to kind of enhance the chances that they will pick that, when I'm telling them to think of a shape, I'm making this shape with my hands. So I want you to draw one shape inside of another and I'm actually mimicking like the shape of a circle. So I'll, I'll do this when I say the first shape and then when I say the second shape, I'll make like a circle shape around. And that is how you do the triangle and the circle mind reading trick. For this amazing mind reading trick, you will be able to know exactly which object was picked while you were out of the room or blindfolded. Check it out. For this mind reading trick, you're gonna lay out five objects on the table, leave the room and have all your friends pick one object out of the five, all agree upon it, and then keep it to themselves. When you come back into the room, you magically read their minds and know exactly which object they pick. Here is how you do it. All you need is someone working with you and they are gonna send you signals in a very inconspicuous and secretive way. Here are the signals assigned to each of the objects. Deck of playing cards, hands on the hips, Pair of sunglasses, hands crossed, salt shaker, arms crossed, cell phone, hands behind the back, cup, hands in the pockets. So when you walk back in the room, you simply look for your friend's signals and you'll know exactly which object they picked every single time. And that is how you know exactly which object people picked while you were out of the room. For this amazing mind reading trick, you're gonna have your mark write anything they want inside this crystal ball and you will know what it is every single time. Check it out. So now that you've got it drawn, I want you to fold it up into quarters, okay? You gotta fold it up? Perfect. All right, I will take that back. Now, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to look at this, I don't even want to touch it, so I'm actually just gonna destroy this. You could have thought of anything, right? Could have been anything. There's no way I could know. I think you thought of a heart. Yeah! Yeah. Tell me how. You wanna know the secret? Yeah. All right, I'll teach you right now. Okay, this is the explanation to the crystal ball mind reading trick. Step one is to draw one of these little crystal balls on a square piece of paper like this. Your next step is to fold it into quarters. What I mean by that is in half that way, and then in half that way. And you want these creases in it beforehand so that they know where to fold it. And if you look, these creases line up directly in the middle of the crystal ball. That's important because we're gonna tear out that section. So they write their prediction, whatever they wanna write in there, and then they fold up this piece of paper. When you take it back from them and start tearing it up, this is where the move happens. Tear it in half once like that, and then keep track of where the middle of the paper is. It's right there. I'm gonna lay that piece on top, turn it, and tear it again just there. Now what I'm left with is all these little torn pieces, but right here in the middle, I've got the center of the paper. It's just the little crystal ball there. Unfold it and take a peek at this real quick, and then tear it. Just like you're tearing the rest of the pieces of paper, roll it up into a ball, hand it to them to hold, and then reveal whatever it is they thought of in whatever creative way you want to. And that is how you do the magic crystal ball mind reading trick. All right guys, this is a fun magic trick that you can do at home. That's right, follow along at home and I'm gonna read your mind through this screen. Free your mind. All you have to do is think of a state. Think of any state in the United States and lock that state in your mind. Don't make it one that's too obvious. And then I want you to spell the name of the state out in your mind. For example, if it's New York, you would spell out N-E-W-Y-O-R-K. And I want you to think about the last letter of that state's name. So if it were New York, 
you'd think about the K. If it were Kentucky, you would think about the Y. So once you have that letter locked in your mind, I am then going to show you all of these letters. Now you could have thought of any state. It means you could have ended up with any letter that you're thinking of right now. But I want you to find the corresponding letter on the screen here and think about the color of that letter. You can see they're all a bunch of different colored letters. Find your letter and think about that color. Lock that color in your mind. Your color is the color red. Did I get it right? Want to learn the secret to that trick? I'll teach you right now. Okay, the secret to this is extremely simple. They really can think of pretty much any state they want. There's only a couple it doesn't work with. I think New York is, there might be a couple other. If there's other ones, leave them in the comments below. I'm sure you guys will let me know. But all the letters on the screen that were red, those nine letters, almost every single state ends with one of those nine letters. So pretty much any state they think of, they're gonna end up on the color red. And that is how you do the United States mind reading trick. For this mind reading trick, you're gonna take a major risk. This is knife roulette. All right, Eric, in this case, we're gonna play nail roulette instead of knife roulette. You ready? Ready. Let's do it. You're gonna take the nail, put it underneath one of the cups like this, and then mix them up. So I don't know where it is, okay? But wait, I'm gonna turn my back. I'll actually leave the room, all right? All right. So, you mixed them up, right? Yep. Ah, and it was in the middle. Okay, here is what you will need. Three styrofoam cups identical to each other, or however many you wanna use for the demonstration, and then one extra cup, which you're gonna to use to make your base. You will also need some tape, some scissors, some fishing line, and a nail, knife, or some other kind of spike. All right, your first step is to create your base. You're gonna do that by cutting off the bottom of one of these cups. And boom, just like that, we've got the base of the cup cut off, and this is going to be our little stand for our spike or our knife. Your next step is to take your nail and sink it right through your little base. Okay, here is the secret to this trick. This is what's going to let you know where the spike is every single time. Here's how. You cut off a little length of this, and you're gonna tape it right to the bottom of that base. So now you can see we have the fishing line sticking out on either side of the base here. The reason we have this here, and I have it really long right now for demonstration purposes for this video, is so that when the cup is sitting on top of it, you can see, and I don't know if you can see it here, but that is the fishing line right there. That is what you're looking for. So you can have them mix them up however much they want, come back to the table, and you're looking for that right there. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. You slam your hands down on the other cups, make it dramatic. And that is how you safely perform the magic knife roulette trick. All right, it is bonus trick time. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six random playing cards here. All I want you to do is see one card out of these six and lock it into your mind. I'll give you a second to do that now. Lock the card in your mind. Now, I'm going to remove one card from that six. So I'm removing one card and setting it aside. I've removed one card from these five and I pretty much guarantee it is your card. And if you look, your card is the only one missing. All right, all you have to do to unlock the secret to this trick is hit that thumbs up button for me one time, just boom, right there. The six cards that you show them in the beginning and the five cards you show them afterward are actually not the same set of cards. These six are the queen of spades, the king of diamonds, the king of clubs, the jack of hearts, the queen of diamonds, and the jack of clubs. And then in this pile of five, I have all the other face cards, which is the queen of clubs, the king of hearts, the king of spades, the queen of hearts, and the jack of spades. So it's a whole bunch of face cards, and most people, because they're only focusing on that one card that they thought of, don't realize that all the other cards have changed too. And that is how you do the card mind reading trick. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away five of these 24 karat gold decks of playing cards. All you have to do to win one is leave your craziest, randomest comment in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and then share it on your Facebook or Twitter. I will pick five random comments from the comment section and I will mail you your very own 24 karat gold deck of playing cards. Unlimited comments, leave as many comments as you want. There is no limit to the number of comments that you can leave. And also no limit to how crazy you can be with them. So yeah, have fun with it. Try and make us all laugh. Leave a crazy comment in the comment section below and win a 24 karat gold deck of playing cards for yourself.
All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, remember that anything is possible. Stay positive and laugh at life. What does that do? Did that blow your mind? That just <laughs> happened. Thank you guys, as always, for showing so much love on these videos. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Until next time, be sure to click right here to check out my vlog channel for a behind the scenes of how this video was shot. All right, it is time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The giveaway winners of the five magic thumb tips are these names right here. Check your YouTube messages. Thanks for playing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. Leave your comments below. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and until next time, stay positive and laugh at life.